Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a light version of a chicken pot pie. It is one of our favorite recipes. Really give it a shot. It's a deconstructed chicken pot pie. A standard typical chicken pot pie calories is seven to eight hundred, six to eight hundred calories. This one is under 400 calories and it is absolutely delicious. So the first thing I'd like to show you is how the shell is made with this deconstructed light chicken pot pie. And you start with one of these puff pastries. I don't know if you've ever seen these before in your freezer. They're pretty simple and you let it thaw. So you're seeing the actual thawed version of that. And it comes folded up like this. And you just, it takes about 15 minutes to thaw it. And then all you do is just take the paper off. There's some papers that go along with it. Spread it out. There's a lot of directions in the actual recipe that I, that's linked on liveinretirement.com. But this is what I do. I do a little bit simpler version. I just take the four inch, for, for me it's a margarita cup, and cut away. And I get four of these, and I put these on a greased with a, uh, basically with um, Pam. I spray it with Pam generously. I get four of these, because I again, it's just the two of us. And we have leftovers, so we have one additional meal of this. You peel this back, and I'm gonna show it to you. Here are the four round circles. I'm going to take these four round circles. This is so simple, you can't believe that this is a recipe under 35 minutes. One, two, three, and four. That's it. Put it on the, the pan with Pam on it. And in the oven it goes for 15 minutes. Okay, so the next step is to cook in a fry pan the celery, carrots, and onions. This is about a cup of carrots, cup of onion, and about a half cup, cup of celery. We love carrots, so we add a little bit extra. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in the vegetables and saute them for about four minutes until they get a nice brown color to them. I have a tablespoon of canola, canola oil in here, and it was already nice and hot. It's on medium high heat. And this will be for about four minutes. While I'm waiting for the uh, carrots and celery and onions to get a nice brown sauteed flavor to them, I'm going to show you the uh, an another trick that I use. It's springtime here. We do not have fresh parsley out in the garden, but I have frozen fresh parsley from last year's garden and I recommend everybody do this. You crumble it, it's been in the freezer, and I need two tablespoons, and I wish you could smell this. It is as fresh as the first day we had it, and the beauty is you don't even have to chop it. You just crumble because it's frozen, and you're gonna get a nice cut, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. You'll see what I'm talking about. It is just such an easy way to do parsley. And it calls for two tablespoons. So there you have it. The next thing I want to show you is one of the tricks that is that cuts out on the calories is this one-third less fat cream cheese. It gives it such a beautiful flavor. It's only two ounces, but man, does it really add the flavor to it. You can also see we I did the same thing with the thyme. I had frozen thyme, so I put two teaspoons in that. I have some salt and pepper. I always use ground pepper. And, and then here are some chicken that from the roasted chicken earlier. We are getting a nice brown on this. I'll show it to you in a minute. The smell is spectacular. I love 
when onions are cooking. They smell so good. Too bad that there isn't any kind of smell of vision I could share with you. But we're getting some nice browning going on here. It's really starting to look good. I'm going to do a little bit longer because I think it's important. It adds that extra flavor profile to the meal to get that charred, sautéed flavor. I want to show it to you. Oh, boy, I just got to wait that the, the smell is absolutely delicious. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add the two teaspoons of flour to this mixture and then uh, stir it up for about a minute. I decided to use whole wheat flour. Why not? I mean, you might as well get those extra nutrients, right? And, you're, and it's going to add a little extra flavor profile. So let me just put this in. And I sprinkle it all over. Make sure you get everything. And then just mix it up. And I'm going to show you this. See how it gets this nice, almost like a, there's like a nice little glaze on it is a way, it would, it would be one way to describe it once you get it all mixed up. And it's only for about a minute that you do this. I want, to, I want to get down there so you can see this glaze that I'm talking about. On, like if, look on this carrot here. This is the flour. So, it's just delicious. I'm going to add chicken stock. Okay, two cups of chicken stock. I want to just point out once again that the chicken stock that we use is Swanson unsalted all natural chicken stock, just plain old chicken stock. It is absolutely delicious. I encourage you to use it as well. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this in. Really see that? And this is gonna go for about 10 minutes until it kind of cooks down. So we have that. Now we have another flavor profile with the chicken stock. Okay, so the puff pastries are ready to take out of the oven. It's been 15 minutes. Oh, they smell delicious. And this is what will go with our deconstructed chicken pot pie. I'm just gonna set them on the side. I'm waiting for those carrots to be tender about 10 minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the chicken which I chopped up earlier from my rotisserie. See it here. And I'm only gonna let this sit for about a minute. The carrots are nice and tender. Just to get the chicken nice and warm since it's been in the refrigerator. Okay, so the chicken's in there, it's all warmed up. The last thing I'm gonna do is remove the whole, all of the, the chicken and vegetable mixture away from the heat. And then I'm gonna put in the rest of the ingredients, the salt and the pepper, the thyme, get every little drop out of that and the parsley. And then finally, the cream cheese. And then we're just gonna mix it until the cream cheese is melted. And I usually just kind of smash it. See how that is? Came out of the refrigerator, so it's pretty cold. But you can see how this is already starting to look like that creamy, delicious pot pie that we love so much. Now, when you're doing your servings, you can do about 
three quarters of a cup. See, I found some more of this. I'm just going to smash it. Um, three quarters of a cup of this mixture along with one puff pastry. And that is the under 400 calories. And believe me, Eric loves it. I love it. It is a delicious alternative and really gives you the flavor of a pot pie. So next we'll do a taste test. Okay, so here we are. We're going to be eating our delicious chicken pot pie, the light version. And uh, remember, you can get the recipe on liveinretirement.com. So let's go ahead and try it. This is one of our favorites, so. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. And I like to take a little piece of this crust and put it right in. I like to have a little piece of chicken, a little piece of carrot, a little piece of the pie, and just eat away. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. It is spectacular. Really try it. You'll love it.